five times when it's okay to offer over asking price when you're buying your next property. That's the topic of this video right now. My name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. If you've been following the market right now, we are in a very, very strong seller's market. And most of the time you have to offer at or above asking if you have won any chance of securing your bid to be the winning bid during this bidding war. So I'm going to give you five tips or five times when it's okay to offer that price, the asking price or above. Number one, you know for sure that there's other offers. Bidding war, if you see 100 people lined up, 10 people lined up outside the open house, there's a pretty good chance they're going to be getting some offers, particularly if you know the comps and that property is priced correctly. So number one, if you know for sure there are other offers. Number two, if you're competing with cash buyers, and that's pretty difficult to uh, understand, but if you see investors out there, people walking around with clipboards, look like they know what they're doing, dress like contractors, then there's a pretty good chance that these contractors are offering cash, and cash is king, as they say. So if you're competing against a cash buyer, sometimes you might want to offer a little more through your mortgage particular offer. Number three, you've been looking for a long time and this house is the house. Maybe you have a family member on the block. Maybe it's the block you grew up on as a kid and you're moving back to the neighborhood and this is the property you need. Then you have to decide how much you want to put an offer on and what works for you. Naturally, incorporating your budget into that. Make sure you speak to a financial uh, planner, somebody or your accountant, somebody to help you make that decision because naturally you can't offer more than you're allowed to uh, that your pre-approval has approved you to do unless you're able to increase that number through your mortgage banker and you definitely have run the your numbers and you could afford to do that. So if you're competing with cash buyers, that would be number two. You can't imagine losing the particular property. That's number three. The house is clearly underpriced is number four. If you see the house is underpriced, then you can definitely offer at or above asking. A lot of times realtors use that as a tactic to draw buyers in not necessary to do in this very competitive seller's market right now because you might draw in too many buyers and turn a lot of people away that don't want to go through the open house particularly during the pandemic so number four is the house is clearly underpriced and how do you know that by active comps if you're not sure how to do that you have to ask or seek the assistance of a professional real estate agent and number five maybe the seller really isn't that motivated and he's not going or she's not going to take anything lower. So with all the other criteria, one through four that I just gave you, you have to decide if this house is worth the asking price or above because the seller might not sell it for anything less. less. But if you think it's definitely worth it, then that's something that you can entertain. Again, speak to a professional mortgage person and your realtor to determine your limits and if in fact the house is worth that investment. With that being said, I'm going to now uh, include a link on the bottom, but I want to give you a little insight because you are in the market right now, either a seller or a buyer. If you log on to my website and click buyers, you can sign up for a free market watch report. Basically, you sign up for the market that you're interested in, the state, the county, the zip code, and it will send you through push emails automatically information about that particular market. If you are looking for a virtual market analysis, you found the property and you want to get specific comps, you fill in the address, fill out the information, and you'll also get that information sent to your inbox. If you are a seller, you can click the seller, Market Watch for Sellers, and sign up and you'll get that same push email but dedicated more for the seller. I hope this was helpful. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of future emails. I mean, of future videos. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll see you on the next video.